<laughs> Meat bicycle. Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today I am back with another modded weapon and uh, this thing is a pretty cool mod uh, of a pistol. It's a variation of the Hornet um, and it's made by uh, someone who I haven't covered before actually. Um, I think there's only one weapon right now in his section. Um, but yes, I like covering new people, seeing uh, different styles and what other people think on modded weapons. Uh, so today this one's been brought to you by It's Cool Dude over on the Borderlands 2 Community GitHub. And uh, this is the Irradiator. So let's start as always by uh, showing you guys exactly where to get it from. So click on the link in the description which will take you straight to where you need to be. Or head over to the Borderlands 2 Community GitHub, click on Borderlands 2 Mods and then to it's cool dude section and uh, this one as you can see is uh, sat just here and uh, there is the weapons information page all you need to do is click the raw tab and then right click and save as into your binaries folder save it as whatever you like but remember it because when you're in game you're going to need to activate that using the console commands just like i'm doing right now and uh, boom there you go that is done so now if you have a hornet in your uh, in your inventory it will be turned into the irradiator uh, and this is what it looks like so uh, that is uh, the look of this gun uh, the weapon card to tell you everything uh, on there be sure to use sunscreen is the uh, the red text on it and uh, yeah that's all you need to know from there I'm going to run through uh, the list of changes in a second while uh, actually doing some kills of it and telling you guys exactly what I think of it but this is what these shots fire like you can have a hip fire it uh, single shot or burst fire it in like a, uh, I think it's five projectiles, um, well five round burst uh, when aiming down the sights. So uh, yeah, this is locked to corrosive only. Obviously, being um, a, a mod of the Hornet, you can only get this thing in corrosive. But that just means one thing: it is absolutely awesome for killing loaders. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to run through Arid Nexus um, Boneyard. Uh, sorry, no, Arid Nexus Badlands, uh, and uh, just kill a load of the junk loaders, and then eventually end up at uh, Bone Shredder and killing him. Uh, I've decided to go the opposite way to Saturn because I always tend to go to Saturn when testing corrosive. So I thought I'd just do a bit of mobbing and then head to uh, to Bonehead 2.0. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, now, anyway, uh, on the uh, the page it says the irradiator replaces the Hornet pistol. Slightly affects the Spiker bullet tracer. Uh, brackets makes it invisible. Um, it infects additional enemies around the original target, which has got the uh, the teapot effect on it. That kind of like this splash damage. Um, so when you shoot an enemy, anything that's near it will uh, get slightly affected by it as well. Uh, it reduced accuracy and fire rate. Uh, as you can see, it's obviously a lot, lot, lot slower firing than the Hornet. The Hornet is very rapid, um, but it also now fires a beam-like projectile made of three rounds, um, and it costs two rounds to fire this thing. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the details you need to know about this thing. Uh, like you can see, I'm doing pretty well here, just taking out loaders. Uh, the damage on it, the base damage, to say that I don't have to actually uh, slag these enemies is pretty good. Obviously, um, when I've got him in um, phase lock, they are getting slag uh, damage to them. But uh, if you, especially if you're using a B or something like that, if you've got amp damage as well, uh, there's no need for slag of any kind. It just uh, sp obviously speeds things up a little bit. But this thing is more than capable of working in Overpower 8 without the use of slag, which is quite rare nowadays in Borderlands 2, especially for normal non-modded weapons. Um, but I just love the beam thing on this. I love the uh, the change to it. Uh, so for the first weapon, this is a you know a big thumbs up to uh, it's cool, dude. This thing works very well. It's nice and balanced. It's not too OP, it fires nice and steadily um, and the accuracy and uh, the recoil are just absolutely fantastic. So props to you dude, they're a very good first weapon. So anyway guys, that's the Radiator, the uh, modded weapon guide for today from It's Cool Dude over the Borderlands 2 Community GitHub. Click on the link in the description to get there. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.